Okay, I'm gonna share something quick with you guys. I forgot to mention this the other day. Um, obviously, if I'm, I keep forgetting, this has happened back in, uh, this happened back in November, sometime in November. Pretty sure it's not, you see the timestamp when I get back home on the, on the trail camera. But, uh, and obviously it shows you how much uh, attention I actually give to these things now, these odd things and they happen, because I guess I can't, I'm not, I can't really say I'm over it. I guess what I'm, what I am is I'm just not interested in directly pursuing contact with these damn things. I love calling them damn things. I call a lot of things damn things. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you can check out, a lot of you guys ask me if I ever have anything weird on my trail cameras because I have so many out there. I've had a few weird things on them over the years. I never really paid too much attention to it because um, like I said, I said it a million times, once you are aware without a doubt about what's going on out here for real, um, photographs and video clips don't really do much for it because it doesn't really matter anymore because uh, you don't need any more proof for yourself personally which I don't but uh so that's why I you know people always email me tell me they got pictures or show me a picture what I think of that video clip I don't really think much of them anymore I don't care because I've seen them I've seen these things firsthand so I don't get the video clips and the photographs don't really get me that fired up um, but what the hell I'll share this with you guys it is what it is um, this particular hill I climb up during my personal hunting season at home for deer and I'm only after this one specific buck it's a big old monster buck and unfortunately he is he lives and comes through a particular area where I found footprints from these freaking things and where I know of a couple of people that ran into them and uh, I got screamed at two falls ago right around there I can feel pressure at times that I'm walking up the mountain and going towards a particular slope uh the odd time it bugs the shit out of me i do go up there in the dark and uh you just power through it if these things wanted to kill me these particular things in this area wanted me dead or wanted me gone it would have happened quite a while ago so it's just a matter of overcoming your anxiety and uh <laughs> and carrying on and and enjoying your passions anyway regardless right i mean we're all dying anyway we're all gonna die and i don't think dying is gonna be that big of a deal in the end but Anyway, I'm rambling away. So check out this trail camera video clip. Um, this particular hill that it's on where the camera faces, it extremely slopes down like this. And once I get back, I'll see if I can dig up some other, because I've had two or three cameras right on this particular trail. So you can see my deer here, this particular buck I'm after, I use this as an example of how it slopes downhill so you can get an idea how high these eyes, whatever they are, eyes, lights, you, you can see exactly what I saw. Um, I don't know what the hell it is. I probably don't want to know, but this is what's on my trail camera. Anyways, regardless, but the uh, the hill slopes straight down like this. The farther you get away, it drops right off. So you can see that it looks like that one thing's peeking out on either side of the tree, and that's basically looks uh, closer to the ground than my shoulders. I stood in the beside the tree to give an example of the height from that angle, but the would it be called alarming the peculiar part of the clip is right where i'm standing beside the tree as an example right behind me it drops right off so that means those higher lights or eyes in the background i don't even want to say how high they are but i can assure you it's well over 12 13 feet anyway it's not really anything i really need to have on my trail cameras <laughs> it's in one of my favorite places to hunt uh, straight up, I wish I could just get that huge buck and get it over with so I don't have to go hang around there anymore because it's not that enjoyable. But I still go. And uh, there is a rapid decline of ungulates in this particular zone. The wolves did go up there and clean up a bunch, but I know that we have a pile of wolves here, and I know they are directly responsible for the loss of our, our ungulates in this particular zone. But... Uh, I would not be surprised if something else is cleaning them up as well, because I'm, I'm I'm not finding any uh, any fresh kills on the ground or sign of fresh kills on the ground. So, anyways, is what it is. So there you go. For all you people out there who have nonstop and asked me if I ever get any strange things on my trail cameras, yeah, I do. And here is the example right here, just from this last November. All right. So here's the unfortunate part about this um, trail camera clip. For whatever reason, my iPhone won't let me email it, and I can't put it on Dropbox. It's 
apparently the format's third party or something not compatible. I don't know what the hell deal is. First rig and I gotta get back out the door. I'm trying to do this before I leave. And uh so but I did get the still photos from it off of my phone on the computer to edit up into this YouTube video. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this camera in my hand, I'm gonna videotape my phone as it plays. I plugged my phone into the computer and the video file, the trail camera file, and all the other trail camera files don't show up. Whatever has something to do with the formatting. I don't understand all that shit, and it's kind of frustrating right now. I don't have time. <clears throat> but what I normally do when I go in the woods, I have an SD card reader with me, and I'll, I'll check my SD cards in the woods as I go. And I obviously downloaded the SD card content onto my phone, erased the SD card, put it back in the trail camera, and carried it my way. Um, Anyways, let's see if this works, and I'll videotape it handheld with this, and at least you can see what I, what I see. <laughs> Crazy, huh? go is what it is make of it what you will you are seeing exactly what I'm seeing and uh, until somebody or something or who jumps gets right in my face and says yeah this is what it was or shows me what it was or whatever it was shows itself in daylight in that particular spot we'll never know exactly what it is but I can guarantee you that is not from human beings and it's not a human being those lights, those eyes, whatever you want to call them, it's up to you. Um, that's not a human being. <laughs>